All right, everybody, welcome. In today's video, we're going to take another look at queen versus pawn and games. And this time we're going to look at some positions where the side of the queen is winning, even though the side of the pawn has an H or F pawn, which we learned in the last video is a draw, unless, as we'll see now, the side of the queen has the king to help. And let's look at this first example, why this threatening to queen, but we see the king is very close and that's important. So how does black win? He gives a check. King g6, maximum resistance, but now after queen e7 check, king has to go to g8 because of the king g6, it's just queen f8 and that's something you can remember if the queen is in front of the pawn, it's just always game over because white cannot do anything anymore. Okay, so if you get the queen in front of the pawn, it's just gone. So king g8, and now this is something I want you to remember. Here, black can go king f6. And also, of course, king e6 works, and then checkmate. But I want you to remember this theme, and it's best when I show it like this, or also king f5 here, king f6. White can queen, but now black just plays king g6, and the queen is so badly placed on h8 that white doesn't have a good check to give and he cannot deal with the checkmate threats of black and black is winning in this position. So this is something to remember. You allow the opponent to queen but then he doesn't have a check and you threaten checkmate and he can't stop it. So certainly a position to remember for you guys. All right, let's see another one. So this is an interesting one. So why does the f-pawn? We know this is a draw if the king is too far, but here the king is close enough. Let's see how this works out. Check, bring the queen closer. Check, check, check. Now the king has to go in front and now we can bring the king closer. And this is a simple win now because after king g7, we just play queen e7. And now king g8 has to be played. King h8 is just queen f8 check and just winning the pawn. So king g8 and now black just goes king g6 and wins because of the f8 queen. There's the immediate checkmate on h7. Alright. Let's see another position. This is a little bit different. In the last example the king was over here, but now the king's on b5. And you might think, well the king is too far away. But the white king is also on the, on the wrong side, would love to be around here, so you can use the stalemate idea, and here black can use that to his advantage. He plays queen a3 check, king e8, check, check, not allowing the king to come over, king f8. Now white actually wants to bring the king over, but black goes queen h7, stopping that. White plays king e8, and now we see the king is just rightly placed here. He can go to c6 and the pawn is after f8 queen, black gives the checkmate on d7. Alright, so you always have to see if you can include your king in the attack against the white king. Let's see one more example. This is actually a draw, but white can still set a little trap. So black wants the queen here. And... It looks like the white king is close enough, but not quite. Not quite. So let's see why. Check. King has to go to a1. We know this already. Queen e3. Okay. So far so good. Dum da dum. And now here's the trap the white can set. He plays queen e2. And the point is now, if black goes king b1, then white can play king c4. And we once again have the situation where black queens but the white king comes to b3, there's no check, the white queen is perfectly placed and white threatens queen a2 mate and black cannot stop that. So this is the trap, but here once again black goes to a1 and now it's a draw because of the king c4, c1 queen, king b3, black has this check and that's enough. After king a3 he can just go back and white cannot avoid the checks and it is a draw. Alright, so the main theme I really want you to take away from this is this kind of setup where you let your opponent queen but then your king is close enough 
and you will still checkmate here. Let me know if you do have any questions about this video. If there was anything unclear, please write in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe as well. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.